This local sports report is presented by the Branton District Football Club. Learn more about their tackle and flag programs by visiting bisonsfootball.ca. U-12 OSFL football from Bison's alumni at the Gretzky Center. The Brantford Bison's back on home field on Saturday afternoon. The Bison's playing host to the Hamilton Tie Cats. Jumping right into the action, how about this start for the Tie Cats? Clyde Podebski takes off down the middle and slips through the hole. Clyde tunnels out the other end and he's into open field. And Clyde Podebski just won't be caught. That's a massive run to start the game and it's 6-0 Tie Cats. The Bisons look to respond, and here on third down, it's a good run from Ryder Doolittle. He rampages through the middle, and Ryder's good for a Bisons first down. Later in the first, now the Bisons back with the ball here on third down once again, and how about Bentley Belanco? He takes off right, and Bentley straddles the sideline. Vincenzo Romano gets a piece of him and pushes him out at the Ticats 45. Jumping to the second quarter, now the Ticats back with the ball, and how about this throw? Anthony DeZuba connects with Vincenzo Romano deep down the middle, and Vincenzo makes the catch. He's in no man's land, and he won't be caught. So is 12-0 Ticats. The Bison's back with the ball now, but look out for the Ticats on defense. John Udall picks off the pass. He flies back the other way, but the pick six is flagged down, so the Ticats offense would need to get it done. And only moments later, it's the Ticats offense doing just that. It's more from the Hamilton running back, Clyde Podebski. He tunnels through the middle before breaking away down the near sideline. Clyde turns on the Jets, and he's just too fast, so it's 18 for Hamilton. The Hamilton offense playing well, but here come the Bisons on defense. First, it's Micah Solomon and Kingston Lee on the takedown. They combine for a deep sack, and just watch Micah as he gets the crowd going. And on fourth down, how about Caden Pump? He breaks through for a sack of his own, and the Bisons turn the ball over. Head to the second half now, the Bisons with the ball, but look out for Emilio Maraca. He finds the QB, and Emilio's got the ball. What a play from Maraca, and the Ticats get the ball back. And on that possession, it's Vincenzo Romano getting it done. He flies into the corner, and he's good for his second touchdown of the game, and it's 24-0 Ticats. The Bisons still battling hard, and late in the quarter, here they are on third down. It's a massive run from Ryder Doolittle. He finds some space and breaks away down the far sideline. Vincenzo Romano takes him down with a hero tackle just outside the Bisons' five. Third and goal now for the Bisons. They give it back to Doolittle. Pablo de Cruz, fearless on the tackle, takes him down, and the Ticats stop the Bisons. The Ticats with the ball now, but it's the Bisons' defense coming up big once again. Cruz Lee finds the fumble, and the Bisons get the ball deep in Ticats' territory. Jumping to the fourth now, same Bison's possession. It's Owen Stewart stepping up for Brantford. He's good for a first down, and the Bison's move to first and goal. And on first and goal, it's Owen Stewart getting it over the line. So the Bison's are on the board. Later in the fourth now, 30 to six tie cats, and it's the Bison's offense coming alive. Bentley Belanco charges down the near sideline, and he fights his way to a first down. And later on that same possession, it's Owen Stewart with another big run, as he brings the rock all the way to the tie cats 10. And here on fourth down, it's Owen Stewart finishing it off. He's good for another touchdown. And after a good kick from Jacob Jongsma, this one comes to an end. So a good battle between two tough teams, but in the end, it's the Hamilton Ticats coming out on top. They take it by a final score of 30-14 to 14 on Saturday afternoon.